is happening? What's going on, folks? It's your GM and host. It's your boy, Jason. What's going on? How we doing? doing Hello, good. Jason. Doing great. Doing well, doing well. It's very everybody's, fun. <laughs> everybody's a little taken aback because I just happened to throw the intro music into our recording. I was about to say... I was about to say, I was like, mm, yes, excellent. Give me a nice, like, minute. And I saw Jason holding up his finger. I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dad's cooking something. What is he doing? And lo and behold, he drops the banger of the intro. <laughs> he buried the lead super well, too. None of us saw it coming. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't understand what happened. Easy. Uh, internet technology is fucking cool. That's what that is. <laughs> yeah. Fact. Yeah, we're over here injecting sound clips today. Apparently, what who knows fuck? what? Who knows what the rest isn't we're in for? All of our characters died. Aww. That's what we're in for. <laughs> TPK. I... TPK. Anvil smash. <laughs> I... TP... TPK. And we're going right into Sky King. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. No, no, I wouldn't do that to our listeners. Could you imagine? Do... Hey. It's like, all right, we're just ending. The party wipes, the, the party wipes. Yeah, happy new year, new campaign. <laughs> all right, happy new year, new campaign. We are not wrapping any of these stories. No. Heads. No. <laughs> You're going to have to deal with the worst, like, just like wanting to know what's going to happen next, just forever. You'll it'll, never it'll know. Be, we'll, be, we'll be the firefly of podcasts. Oh my God. <sighs> Yuck. <laughs> What do you Thank mean, editing? There are no more episodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Oof. All the story threads just completely laid out there. And, yeah. Anyway, about that. That's where fanfic thrives. Yeah. I just really want to get that uh, that Zaba and Vesuviak uh, Yahweh, you know? <laughs> Nobody asked Yahweh? for that. All right, listen here, old man. It's Yowie, first and foremost. <laughs> You're going to come into my turf. You're going to actually respect one of the fucking names. <laughs> Get his ass. Is, there, is it really your hey. turf if you're not hey. one of the two boys? No, but however, I've consumed involved. enough Yowie and Yuri fan fiction to uh, be a connoisseur in this shit. So you guys heard it here first. Send all of your favorite fan fiction to Lunar. Actually, please do. I'll rate them. <laughs> he absolutely will. We've been playing Kingdom Hearts 2 in our off time. And uh, I said that's so weird. Kingdom Hearts 2 in our off yeah. time. And uh, the entire time I've been playing, Lunar's just been sitting next to me reading this Persona 5 and Kingdom Hearts fanfic where Sora, Kyrie, and Riku are now chilling out with Joker on and Morgana. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I like reading trash. It's fun. <laughs> well, I thought you were going to talk about the uh, Sora and Riku fanfic. I was like, I read that oh, too. Oh, that's millions of them. Th I read that too. Yeah. Which one? <laughs> yeah. Mickey, oh, you it's know Riku. the one. There's the multiple one. ones. The one. Back the when it was one. called like a lemon on the internet. <laughs> anyway, I can't it's say I'm familiar drinks. with this one, but I am... Uh... <laughs> I am curious, which is a bad sign about me as don't a person. Be. Hey, from from someone who should not be curious about this stuff, don't be. Don't be. You're better off. Sir. Hey, there's, I'll, I'll you know, inter away. internet rule 34. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it exists. Yeah. Anyway. It exists. Mm -hmm. Anyway. I got a question for you. This segue, <laughs> there, there is there is no segue for this. I was going to be like, so speaking of hanging out with your family, but no, that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> not immediately after talking about Rule 34. Yeah, not about Rule 34. Excuse you. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. it's, it's fresh after the holidays. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of, spi <laughs> speaking of spiciness, how spicy do you like your drinks? <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> uh, so the your cocktail of choice, your drink of choice. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw it out there. When it comes what? to the holidays, there's lots of folks who enjoy eggnog or vari ver varieties and versions of eggnog. 
for example, this year I tried rum popo, which is a uh, Dominican version of eggnog. And then there is a Puerto Rican version of eggnog called uh, Coquito, which uses coconut milk. Ooh. And and there's a, then there's other folks who just prefer, you know, your peppermint mochas or, or your gingerbread based flavored drinks. I want to know when it comes to drinks, it could be alcoholic or non. What's your favorite like winter season drink? Who wants to go first? Because so, I can go. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I mean, right now, as when this episode comes out, I believe it's a few, like a couple weeks after the new year. But Christmas always still is like my favorite holiday season. So like anything peppermint flavored when it comes out, like peppermint mocha. Um, I absolutely adore, uh, adore those flavors. But recently, um, like uh, two weeks ago, we went to this this Main Street event at the at a small town not too far away from where Lunar and I are, and I had mold wine there for the very first time, and it was so good. I've never had hot spiced wine like that before, and it was it was fantastic. I think that honestly might be one of my new favorites. It mold wine, mold delicious. wine is delicious. Yeah, I've had multiple of those since you were the DD for that event, and I wish I got more, honestly. It was very yeah. delicious. It's making me think about, like, trying to do a mold mead and, like, taking <gasps> uh, mead spices and heating them up. Hey, I'd love to try that, babe. No, I just want to try that. For me personally, I'm a coffee girly. Uh, it's a curse. So <laughs> <laughs> I do enjoy, I always enjoy a nice peppermint mocha. Uh, you catch me around the fall season, I will be a basic bitch and I will enjoy a peppermint, a spice, not peppermint, spice pumpkin latte. But those are good. And I won't stand for slandered against those either. <laughs> hey, how do you feel about the gingerbread flavored? I, oh, I'm i actually a big, I, I can enjoy that too. Literally just any holiday like coffee based drink, I'll, I'll most likely enjoy. Right on. Okay. So, as far as I know, there isn't a holiday for French vanilla. So, I don't really qualify because anything that's a hot drink that isn't like a tea or a cider is just a vessel for French vanilla to me. But yeah, that's like winter rolls around and I find myself drinking a lot of like French vanilla mochas. I went and got a like over a liter. I cannot remember the conversion to, uh, down south numbers, but uh, yeah, I get that bad boy filled up for like a buck fifteen at the at the convenience store around the corner from work, and I'm good for five six hours for sure. Might as well be a thermos. Nice. I don't drink hot things, as we've covered extensively today, but I do. I will make hot chocolate and then hold it so my hands stay warm until it gets back to room temperature and then I'll drink it because then it's just chocolate milk and that's good so <laughs> I'll stand with some nice room temperature chocolate milk <laughs> that's not bad hot hot cocoa bombs are also very much enjoyed and consumed in this household so do you find yourself when holding the beverages like every once in a while to try them be like maybe I like this now and then you're just disappointed regularly? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty good about knowing that I'm not going to like it, but of course I have children running around saying, just try it, Mom. And so then I have to try it for, you know, role model purposes, and it's still gross. So um, That's fair. Yeah. Well, kudos for, about, for trying. What about, um, like, cocktails, like alcoholic type Yeah, I mean, holiday I'll drinks. put booze in my hot chocolate. My- room temperature chocolate mint flavored booze and other things okay yeah yeah i don't know that i have a holiday alcoholic drink of choice but like a grasshopper or something sure i'd drink a grasshopper is that a holiday drink it's minty i don't know i just think i think uh, yeah i think like peppermint and it's just like (laughs) yeah awesome 
But that being said, we're not we're not gonna be too happy and too excited because last we left off, we left off right before combat because you took out a rope uh, construct, mm -hmm. and then we went. You went ahead, found some more tiles. Then you you investigated a wind tunnel, found some more tiles, healed yourselves back up, mostly. Zaba's got healed up to the, as best he could, and then Sil went and went exploring around a corner, found a couple of very familiar oogie boogie like sack demons, Mogads. As well as a different burlap creature, not nearly as large as a Mogabd, in the middle of the next room. The next room, which is funnel shaped, very steep, to the point where I, I said to the group that it's considered difficult terrain because the floor sl slopes downward towards the south and it's not very stable. So <coughs> that is where we left off, where the creatures did not see Sill, but Sill, they saw the creatures. Yeah, I think I warned everyone that you can't use mental stuff on them and bludgeoning is bad. Yup. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and I asked Vesuviak if you have a big blasty spell thing. Do I? I don't think I do. Nope, I do. We're good. Yep. I can't see what's going on, though, so... <laughs> yeah, I can scooch over to the side. Oh, the game's paused. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to make room for Vesuviak to blast them. All right, hold on. Vesuviak, you're stepping in. Yeah. Give me a stealth check. Stealth check? Oh, boy. Please yep. roll good. Or roll bad and it'd be really funny. Why would you Why would you put that on me? Okay. <laughs> Don't you put that on me, Ricky Bobby. Well, hold on. You, your intention is to cast a spell? Well, I didn't know how far away these things were. These guys are too far away for the range that I need to cast in. So, well, well, you stepped in to take a look anyway, right? Yeah, I did. So I still okay. Need to well, get well, well, we'll leave it right there. You can use stealth as your in initiative. We're gonna go into encounter mode. You use stealth as your initiative, okay? Because you were trying to sneak. So you can use stealth as your initiative as well. And these folks are going to use perception. Because that is how, how like, sneak and ambush works in this. As you would use stealth to try to ambush. Oh boy. Alright, please be decent. Nope. Oh god. What, what, th th that was a lot of dice. That was a lot of dice, Jason. <laughs> Oh, well, these guys have cool little text boxes. Scary, scary, scary. And I can reveal the Mog Abs. You know that. You don't know the other one. Timothy Bono rolled a one for this combat initiative. All right, well... Yeah, you can't see in the room anyways. Nah, that's true. Got my torch. Well, the... Uh... Vesuviak, you are not so stealthy because they noticed you. Yeah, I feel like we learned this lesson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. That's... We are going into combat and... Hmm. Let's see here. All right, Zaba, your turn. All right. Do I... Uh get the impression from the reactions of my allies that they are coming or am I blissfully unaware of the situation? You know that there's the enemies around the corner, so still told you. Okay, but they're uh, just hanging out. You know, the door being sneaky. I don't know. 
Zubiak was pretty <laughs> noisy. Zubiak. Zubiak was pretty noisy. Listen, I'm trying to be quiet, but these scales keep clanking around. <laughs> but the clap of my scales keep alerting the sax. <laughs> All right, in we go. Yeah, Zabo will get in there, single action to stride into the room and get the full view of what he is dealing with. Immediately have a moment of some regret. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just take a, a test strike on the guy directly to what would be his west. So just up at the top of the staircase that leads to what I'm going to call the... It's just a general fatal funnel. That's uh, a two on the die for a total of a 16. Yikes. Yeah, that's going to be a miss there, bud. Yeah, I don't think that's going to do it. How would you roll a two and D one hundred? Oh, that is <laughs> wild luck. But hey, the rule of the roll is the rule. Uh, seeing the risk that we're in, I uh, will strike again. I had to think. I'm doing math. Quick math. Uh, that's a natural one on the second strike. Whoa, dude! We're rolling. That was a two followed by a one on those D twenties. We're rolling rocks over here. And that'll be Zaba's turn. Okie dokie. So, you remember, when you're in this funnel, the everything is difficult terrain. So, oh, let's see here. And go ahead. So, another Mogab, Mogabd from behind a corner that, the, that Syl and Vesuvia could not see decides to go ahead and move on over and is going to target Zaba and we're going to go ahead and hit Zaba with a good old sack attack sack attack yeah it's whack one. sack attack's whack how about <laughs> another that was almost a nat 20 that was a 15 Eight on the die for a 15. That's going to be a miss. Sill, your turn. I will drop into a stance and move up right behind Zaba. And then just throw a card at... How far away is that one? 15. At the one to his side. Since that is within my range. Sorry. Seven on the die? Yeah. For 21's a hit? Well, that's a good sign. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. two damage. Did it. All right. Two damage it is. Mm -hmm. It dies, right? <laughs> Another one from behind the corner comes up. This one's going to target Syl. Try to hit Syl with a sack attack. Five on the die is going to be a miss. Nine on the die is going to be a miss. <coughs> is it? Now the one in the middle, the little guy, is going to go ahead and move on to the south. So that's 50. All right. And we are going to... All right. Timothy, you are up. Oh boy, it's me! It's a me. Okay. I am I need a I need to move in to at least see what's going on in this room, so I'm gonna move in. Try not to get in Vesuviac's way. At least like 20 feet in. I see that there's one next to Zaba. And just I'm south gonna... of Zaba, you can see that one as well. Yes, I can see that one as well. So what I'm gonna do is gonna try to attack that sucker. Actually, how far away is it from me? Is it too far to throw my star knife at it? Fuck it is! <laughs> okay. I... Question for you, DM. As I'm looking at this thing, does this thing look, or the, the mogwise, mogibes, do they look like they're alive, quote unquote, or are they just 
like a sack creature, like a sack boy, if you will. They look like they are burlap, which has been tied up and just full of living creatures. Okay. I'm going to look at this thing, and I'm going to see if this works. I'm going to cast Torturous Trauma on it. Technically, it's not mental. So that's why I'm like... Although it says one living creature. But I don't know. I wanted to see if this might work. Okay. Yeah. So they got to make... Yeah. Unfortunately, this doesn't work. Let's shit. This is why I wanted to find out. Yeah, and you just, and you just all you did is use a cantrip, so it's not like you wasted a spell. Yeah, exactly. That that helps me out with some stuff I wanted to figure out. So Timothy tries to cast Torturous Trauma, sees that it doesn't go through, and he's like, all right, a uh, mental note for later. That definitely doesn't work. Got it. Uh, <laughs> and I end my turn. All right. This one comes on up. All right, so at this point, the difficult terrain in the room no longer matters at all. Zaba has been completely encircled. <laughs> yeah. And see if I can actually hit something for once. Maybe don't? That'd be kind of silly. It'd be really funny. 19 on the die is not a crit. That's just the hit. Oh, thank on God. Barely. For 14 damage. Oofa doofa. You got it. Alright. And then we will go ahead and one more swing. Another 19 for a hit. Wowzers. The luck has changed. For no. nine damage. These are two this is bludgeoning damage as they just kind of slap you with a sack. I have been sack slapped. Ew. <laughs> Ew, dude. <laughs> All right, Vesuviak. Don't forget, I think you're muted. Yeah, let's see. Not going to lie, this is a real tough one, because uh, Zappa's not in a great position here. No, he's not. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and cast a two-action heal spell on Zappa, get him up to some health that's a little bit better to be managed here. So that is going to be a good old 41 points of healing oh. back to you, Zaba. That's a big one. Huge. That's Thank you. Nice. And then for my third action, I raise a shield as I pray to God that people start to back out. <laughs> pray to Sarah. Pray to Sarah. <laughs> All right, there we go. We're good. All right, back up to the top. Let's see here. Hmm. Let's see if I can actually aim this cone correctly. There we go. Just like that. So <laughs> this thing is going to breathe out, or not breathe, spew out some of its internal swarm, catching both Zaba and Sill. And I need you both to make a reflex save. Zaba's a fail, and Sill is a success. Just two damage. However, a creature that fails is exposed to filth fever. Ew. So, Zaba, you now have filth fever. That's fine. Doesn't do anything immediately. That doesn't sound great. Not immediately. No, not immediately. It just gets bad later. Yeah, so first of all, let me roll this for my recharge. And then let me roll this to see. Oh, what's my onset? Nice, yep. nice. <coughs> okay. And so that was one action. No, that was two actions for the breath. And we're going to do a sack attack. Four. Five on the die is a miss. All right, Zaba, your turn. 
Boy, howdy, do I wish I was at the level where I, uh, had all sorts of interesting cleave maneuvers. But that is not this level. Alright, well, I need to open a hole. So, I will, uh... You can shove? Yeah. My handy little token toolbar at the top has disappeared, but I just remembered we now have the hover one. Yeah, so you just target the first, the one you want to shove, and you can hit shove. Alright. I am just going to do what Zaba does, and I'm just going to start swinging. I'm going to take a swing and see if I can hit this thing and see how it responds, and then go from there. Ooh, Danced on the 20. So the one to the dead. southwest. That's a hit. So that is 23 points of slashing damage and one point of. Yeah. I haven't opened this tab yet. <laughs> uh, one point of acid. Alright. And how does it feel about that? It didn't like that. Okay, so these things die. And they don't <laughs> seem to hit very hard. So Zabo will continue cleaving into that one for his second action. If it bleeds, we could kill it. Yes. Just eight on the die eight on the plus die. nine is 17. That's not going to do it. It's not going to do it. Well, gladiator got to do what a gladiator got to do. True. And if I run away, then it opens the tunnel to the party. Hey, that's oh, an 18. 18 on the die. That's a nice. hit. Oh. Where's that on the full bonus? Give me that crit. All right, that is 19 points of slashing damage and one point of fire. Ooh, sick. All right. Um, it will now use a reaction. It would. So it, the, the burlap vessel is destroyed at this point, but it, this thing, the Mogabd, is gone. But you, mm. but in its place, wait. There's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it just made me laugh, sorry. I am about to experience another moment that makes me wish I was playing an alchemist. Okay. Quick, capture one of the bugs and check it around. <laughs> In its place is... I don't have a token for this one for, for some reason. Is a rat swarm. <laughs> oh shit, a rat. Bunch of rats. Hunters <laughs> of rats. It's a rat king. Alright. Now we go to another mog app. Well, Zaba, you're the front line. I am the wall. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. So that's what I get for being a large barbarian. Yeah. Ten on the die. It hits that's me. A meat it's beats. Bang on. For a for a mighty seven. That's all right. One more. Natural twenty. Damn it. Less all right. I looked away for a second. For all of 16 damage, bud. Fuck, thank God. Ouch. It's a good thing <laughs> Vesuviac has a, a, a limitless amount of healing spells. Yeah, totally. Yeah, and completely that was a limitless. three on the die for five damage. For we're good, five we're good. That's nothing. Well, Sil, it's your turn. Yeah. So I think because these are large, I can't... I don't have enough movement to tumble through them yeah because it's, it's difficult terrain and yeah and they are difficult terrain when you tumble mm -hmm. through them so that makes a greater difficult terrain yeah so that's okay but this one hit me so i must be able to hit it so i will switch to targeting the one on the other side yeah. of Saba. oh yeah you can hit this one cool. swing at it slashing Yeek. well two on the dice is going to be a mess <laughs> yeah. Swing again. Oh my gosh. One of the die is also going to be a yeah. miss. And then oh, I'm going to back up a little bit just in case Zaba is wishing he could back up. So I'll back up 
uh, 15 feet. Shit, dude, shit, dude, shit. Alright, well. Well, Baba. <laughs> Hi! Hey, bud! I hope my teammates have a plan. Nine on the die is a miss? Ooh, just barely. One on the die is a critical miss. Man, <sighs> y'all need a swashbuckler in here. So I was uh, dodging and weaving hard. And a six on the die with a minus ten map is also going to be a critical miss. I've never seen a man more graceful in a moment in time than him. Well, Timmy oh. Tim. Yeah, it's me. Hey, what's up, God? It's your boy. Jesus Christ. Timothy's just like, like standing there just like... This sucks. It's like a free action. Can I look to Vesuviac? And he's like, hey, how many more things of healing do you think you got in you? Only a couple. Fuck. He is gonna look to Syl. It's like, are we going to run away from this, Syl? I mean, that's up to Saba. If we can get the bottle. Timothy back. shouts to Saba. Hey, Saba, do you want to run away? Not overly. You know, they kind of, like, they hit, but not very hard and not, like, with any consistency. If you can cast, like, you know, like a chain lightning or, like, a, you know, like a twin disintegrate spell, yeah, you know, I'll that'd be a Zephyr. lot of help. <laughs> I'll cast the Final Fantasy spell Zephyr and <laughs> we'll see about fixing this situation. You here, know, but... if you got, like, Alchemist Fire or any of that kind of stuff to kill the rats with. <laughs> that would be great. Man, I wish I had fire. Gotta be honest. Okay. Uh, don't forget, you have a couple scrolls, don't you? I do. I was just about to say, Timothy's going to take a second, look through some scrolls that I have. I have one scroll in particular. I don't think it would be the scroll of Glitter Dust. The scroll of Searing Light. I might use that one, I think. Because I think that's a good idea at this point. Timothy like, looks at the words like, listen. I've got a Chekhov's gun in here, and by that I mean I have a scroll. <laughs> I've been holding on to it for this kind of moment. Yeah, I... I, I think I want to use this. It's a yeah. big spell. It's a level 3 spell. Yeah, it's a level 3 spell, gang. <laughs> like, Timothy only... looks to you guys. Thoughts? Prayers? You can only target one creature. Yeah. Didn't your other uh, thing no, that I'm... targeted one creature not work? Yeah, no. It's mental. It, I, it won't work. I'm kind of fucking useless here. I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> Fuck. Well, you could. Can't you... Uh, what's that? Do the channel, the cycle channel thing and get the uh, that third? Yeah, I was thinking about that. I think this... It might be time for me to reveal my last apparition to you guys. <laughs> Because it's it's finally come time down to it. So I think Timothy. Fuck. But if I do that, then I'm not gonna be able to use the scrolls. Because well, that's the can, other. you can you can give that that particular scroll. You can give that to Vesuviac, and he can just cast it without making a check because it's divine. Okay. So this is what Timothy's gonna do. Because I can I do that as a free action or no? No, Giving it'd be something? an interact. You have to. First of all, it'd be one interact to pull it out of your pouch, and then one action to give it to him. Fuck. Okay, cool. So that's what Timothy's gonna do for his first part of his turn. He's giving you, takes it out of his bag, gives this scroll to you. So you now have this scroll, the scroll of searing light. Okay. Uh, Vesuviac. And he looks to you and he says, I'm gonna pray that this gamble works. And he is gonna let himself get possessed. I'm gonna pray for bread. It's not gonna be bread and it's not gonna be the dark star this time around. Instead, his eyes flash a vivid gold, and it's almost like his, like, he, he actually stands up straight, and he looks, like, a lot more confident in himself, and he just puts, like, his fists, like, together, and, like, cracks his knuckles a little bit, and he's like, all right, let's break some heads. Okay. Let's, let's do this. Let's, let's fucking do this. <laughs> I don't be concerned. Fucking pump, let's go. Let's fucking go, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. 
make it like Macho Man Randy said. Ooh yeah, brother. <laughs> I heard what you said about Miss Elizabeth, brother. Yeah. We'll knock this, some skulls. It's going down this way. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Three rounds. Bone <laughs> saw is ready. <laughs> 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 I end my turn if it's not obvious. <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. The rat swarm. Ew. Gonna spend <laughs> one action to move. Get right on top of Zaba. Not like that. It's not that coming. That's some fucked up rats. Second action. Gonna do some swarming bites. Ew. So gonna need that reflex save, Zaba. Yeah, no problem. Oh, big problem, apparently. Well, it's only one d 6 man. And you already have Phil Fever, so it's not... Yeah, I already have Phil Fever, so it doesn't really change anything. You only take one damage. Oh. Love that its name is Lovable Rat Swarm. <laughs> it's just that. giving Zaba hugs. And... Yeah. And it's give me bites. another... Give me another save. Another three. Zaba, my brother in Christ. Zaba doesn't believe in Jesus. And this one is a <laughs> yeah. five. This one's a five on that D6. All right, that's a total of six points of piercing damage from the rats. And so much filth fever. <laughs> yeah, you already got it. So, but, but yeah, there you go. Um, it is Vesuviac's turn. Okay, I, I could not target or hover Zaba's token. I don't know what they're... So hover them. over the rat swarm and hit the, the Z key. It'll cycle through the tokens on that square. Aha! Thank you. Okay. Oh, boy. See, so here's the thing. I have been given power. But <laughs> yeah, I, I gave also, you a But here's the thing. I still have had power, and I've been holding on to that power this whole time but have chosen not to use it because Zaba would be caught in the crossfire. Crossfire! Quite literally. What you doing? <laughs> Trying to find a reason for me to not step up behind you, Zaba, and just breathe fire to everything in the room. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Including <fine>. you. <laughs> Do it. I mean, you can move through, through your ally. Well, I guess there's a swarm now. Yeah, there's yeah. a swarm on top of the man now. And I also won't have enough movement speed to pull off what I want to do in one turn. Well, you can breathe fire in this direction. There is an opening. Yeah, but that only gets one. True. Just make sure you hit me. Well, I could potentially get this, get, get this one behind him, depending on how big the cone is. Because you could do it this way. Watch. Oh, wait, that's a circle. We actually got a column. Fuck. You could do it this way. And you can get two. Uh, yeah, I'll do that then. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> so we'll move up 20 feet, get right behind Zaba. Oh, dear God, there's a lot in this room. Let's make it less. And I've got to breathe you fire. Got, and you got 15 <laughs> feet, right? Yeah, 15 feet. All right. I, and, and we'll do yeah. that yellow cone that you put down to get to the... <sighs> yeah, I, I'm not going to kill Zaba today. Okay. I shoulda. But you did it. <laughs> All right, let's get both of these Mogabs and roll. Saba's That's really a good at reflexes. Nine and an eleven. Fail. Those are two failures because, yeah, they both have. Yeah. Those, yeah. Those are decks. those are two failures. They both have. They only have plus nine. All right. And well, your DC was 21. Ah, oh, so, sex fire. That doesn't seem like a lot. Wow. <laughs> okay. So six fire each. Uh, all right. So I really hope I didn't just mess things up. Okay. Well, I've made my bet. That's the end of my turn. All right. They both take six fire. And back up to the top we go. <laughs> Yippee! And... Damn you. You moved. And... We're gonna do that. And this one got its breath back. 
So, oh. let's go ahead and see if we can't get get old Vesuviac in some filth fever action. Nah, it's okay. I'm a doctor. I'm immune to disease. <laughs> Half the party now. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're learning how this works. <laughs> <laughs> You see, with my medical degree, I actually gain an immunity to <laughs> being diseased. Yeah, it's wild. They make you go through 12 years of college to never get sick. Yeah. Insane. Right. Wait, that's, a, that's not right. Where's the corner? It's, there it is. Oh, my safe! No. Oh! There we go. Okay. No, you're and not safe. I'm going to need to get saves... And the rat swarm is going to be involved in this too. Ha, oh, sick! <laughs> Screw you, rat swarm. <laughs> Idiot dies, my friend. Here we go. Here we go. There's that. There's that reflex save, folks. Where's my rat swarm? Oh wow! The rolls continue. That's a big old two on for Zaba. The I... makes. The Do I need oh, the save too? Yes. Okay. Oh, that rat swarm got a success. I cannot believe this. I thought that was just. No! It's whenever anything can just make you or tell me upset or sick. <laughs> it's whenever you have a chance to get sick. Vesuviac loves getting sick. Listen, the weak yeah, stomach is issue. Hey, it's only one damage, folks. Oh, Every damage. player needs to get filth fever at least once in a Paizo playthrough. <laughs> I'm good. It's like All a right. rite of passage. All right, and uh, Vesuviac, let me get that on. Let me figure out how many hours your onset is. Oh boy. Like a billion hours. Hey, All right. just be glad All it's right. not, I'm just glad it's not like Starfinder where getting re-diseased can increase your onset time and make things happen faster. Yeah, you just have it. Oh, jeez. All right, Zaba, you're up. All right, well, I, uh... I just... I'll start on the one that's straight ahead of me. Uh, just what would have been next to the one I killed last round. Yeah, the one that's burning. The one that's burning yeah, in front of you. Yeah, I'm just going to stand amongst the rats. <laughs> I am the rat I, king. I you are the, the rat, rat king. king. All right, no! first one. Oh, oh there we go. Damage. Natural 20. Let's go. 28 points of slashing. And two points of... Acid. Well, that's 30 damage. Guess what? It bursts into a swarm of rats. It's going to turn into a swarm of rats. Oh, Yay. shit. More rats. And it has 19 hit points. Um, its AC is also 19. So let me bring out a swarm of rats. Everyone write that down. We now know this information. <laughs> 19, 19! <laughs> <laughs> write that down, write that down! This 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 swarm is wistful. <laughs> Just reminds me of like this Barbie is a doctor. <laughs> What'd you drop over there? Of my rank. Oh nice. Alright. Cool. Yeah, so he burst into a swarm 19. of rats. <laughs> Alright. That's good. That's Another victory in Zaba's books, so he will turn his target to the one that just used its breath weapon on us to very little effect, but still it's melt bad for my second strike. Back to the low numbers. That's a fiver. Yep. And you know what? We're just going to try again. 13? Oh. 17 total. Not going to get Almost. me there. Almost. Almost. And that is Zaba. Bring on the rats. The wistful rats. rats. The rats have moved. <laughs> One action. Yeah. Two Ew. action. They found us. No. They found you. <laughs> they just scurried onto the back. They found you. <laughs> and um, we're gonna swarming bite the back line. Hey, maybe don't. And how about you two make? G give me those reflex saves. Oh, I have to select my token. Oh, Syl, you're crit you critically succeeded. You're fine. Yeah. Still nice. floating above the rats. <laughs> Can I select Timothy Bolo? Floor's lava. <laughs> hey, Floor's lava. Remember, hit the Z key to cycle life. through the tokens that are 
in the same spot. I'm trying to. It's not letting me. Oh, hold up. Please. Oh, Jesus. There it is. I think I've got my boy. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. And that's a success as well, so you'll take half damage of this. Three. So you'll take one damage, Timothy. Nice! Look and you know. didn't fail, so you don't have to worry about filth fever. This turn. Yeah, for now. So you're up. Okay. This thing was kind Your enough favorite to come here. Swarms, you love I them. love them so much. I will attack them. Oops, I gotta get back to me. Nope. No. There I am. Okay. Striking. Mm -hmm. It's a hit. Oops. Why is it question marking? Ten damage. And then I will Ten. strike again. It only took a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. eight, 8 on the die plus 10 is a hit. Okay. 11 more. And In theory. It only took a little bit of that. 11 damage. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to spread out from Timothy so that it. Honestly, can't get that's both fair. Of us. Smart. Mm -hmm. And you just go ahead and kill it. Smart. Just, you know, spell cracking yeah. and all that. Yeah. Okay. By all means. All right, well, this Mogab sees a um, juicy-looking uh, dragon boy. Don't describe it. Oh, he like sees that. a super angry frog. Super big. Ten on the die for a 22. That's it. a meat speeds. Barely. Mm. Wow. For 13. I mean, we don't have to do that. <laughs> Your honor. You could just not lie. <laughs> 13 on the die, minus 5, that's a miss. And minus 10, 2 on the die. AC4 is a critical miss. Okay. Go to Timothy, you're up. All right, cool. So the first action of the spirit, the apparition of witness to ancient battles, as it's called. It's going to cast a spell. It is going to cast Runic Weapon on Timothy's Star Knife. Okay. And so, what this means is that I get a plus one striking to it. It basically gains a plus you, one you bonus. Are, you already have that, though. Yeah. Well, but it increases the, dam the weapon damage of dice to two. So, it has two dice now. You, yeah, but the, you already had that on your striking. And your throat, and your shell knife. Oh, can I put that on my fist then? <laughs> can I? Can no, because you have to. You, you have to. You have to target one weapon, unfortunately. Can I target one fist? <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn it! Sorry. All right. Well, then shit. If I already had that, then but, I guess I don't cast that. But don't you have true strike with this guy? Oh, do. I don't know, actually, because it. I, I don't think it's actually on my sheet. <laughs> well, yeah. Let me let me go ahead. Yeah, we don't we don't have this. You, we don't have that focus spell either. So let me get that focus spell out there for you. Yeah, let me remove this. Then I don't do this spell. I had this in my head and I forgot. Oh yeah, my weapon already oh, has on. that. Let me go ahead and pause. It's a sweet low level spell. All right, we're back after a quick pause. We just had to quick add some of the mm -hmm. witness to ancient battle apparition spells to Timothy. So yes, Mr. Right. Bono. So first actual action I am going to do is I'm going to use one of my focus spells. I am going to do embodiment of battle. So you see Timothy's muscles get just a little bit bigger. <laughs> just like almost, I guess, like the the has like the energy of a warrior and he the is the ultimate going, warrior the ultimate warrior and he is going to use his shale star knife on this fucking rat all right hold and on so, let me double check to make sure that you know, there's actually like a condition that gives you this yeah. I don't did think you target yourself it. when you cast embodiment i did yeah so, like, I don't think it put it on there for me. I can try 
using my weapon real quick and we can see if it did. No, it didn't. It didn't. Hold on. Crud. Me. That's okay. Let me t- quick take a peek here. Okay. Spell effects. We don't have a spell effect for it. So yeah, let me quick mm-hmm. make your martial weapons trained. Okay. And we just have to remember you have attack of op- or the reactive strike ability. Yeah. And on top of that, you get a plus one with your weapon. So I can quick add. A- we'll just. Yeah. Here. Let me. Well, quick we can add- just add the one after whatever I roll. Well, I'm gonna quick make a. Make a. Oh wait. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll come up with a custom condition for this. After- it's there- okay. Between sessions. Yeah, it's all right. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack with my shield star knife. So this is my second action to attack it. Uh, let's go, baby. That's a critical Ooh. hit. Roll let's that critical go. damage. Excellent. So crit damage. Oh my god, I get to press crit damage. Oh, I'm so excited. Nineteen damage. Does the star knife have a critical specialization? It does. It yeah, has it does. The knife critical specialization. Yeah. It didn't matter because it's dead. I killed some rats. Timothy then looks to the rat swarm in front of him. It's within 20 feet. I'm attacking again by throwing my shield star knife. That's right. Like fucking Cappy from Mario. (laughs) All right. Or Captain America. That's true. Or Xena. Uh, Oh, you're right. So then let me roll it at map. I like the Cappy example. This is very much leading into Captain America and complete switch right at the yeah, end. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> 10 on the dies, a hit. All right, and for damage, let's do it. That's five damage we're looking here, gang. How's that rat looking? It didn't take any. Ah, whore. <laughs> Bastard. Yeah, 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 okay. But then at the end of your turn, your star knife returns to your hand. Yeah. And Timothy, I think, just like lets out like a victorious laugh. And he says, who's next? Victory screech. <laughs> All right. This, the, the rat swarm's going to quick take one action to move, get on top of both <clears throat> Suviak and Zaba. And then we're going to do two bites. Just kidding. We're just rats. They're love bites. They're a lovable rat swarm. All right, you two, give me those um, those saves. It's oh, man, we're back on the low roll train. Okay. Hey, Vesuvius a crit. We got scales. It's easy for him to deal with rats. <laughs> Five damage to Zaba. One more time. Let's go. Oh, uh, this is the one. I got oh, another don't... crit. <laughs> And half damage for Zaba. This will be a two damage to Zaba. Cool. Thank you. I appreciate the little nibbles. And we go to Vesuviak. Okay. So first thing I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cast Lay on Hands on Zaba. You got to touch him. I am touching him. Right next to him. No. <laughs> you slap his ass. Hey, get better, idiot. I, I give him a good solid pap on the shoulder and be like, here's 18 health. Good job. <laughs> good job. AC buffs. Good job. And then for my next trick, I'm going to shoot fire at a at one of these little sack of guys that hasn't gone down. I believe it's the guy that the same sack monster that sprayed bugs at me earlier. So we're gonna we're gonna fire a that guy. Okay. Come oh, on, that was no. a two. <laughs> you want to use your? Do you have a hero point? Do I have a hero point? We haven't refreshed in a while. Yeah, let's go ahead and use a hero point for that one. That was a two on the die, folks. Yeah, eight, eight on, on the die. die. That That's one a hits. Meets, meet, meets beats. We will take those. Oh, good. Have my dice. <laughs> Twenty-six fire damage. Hachima. All right. Dang, it's still up? Okay. <laughs> Gross. That's That's awesome. Here we go. Here we go again. I am ready to give you reflex saves. No, he, he used this breath spell, so it's sack attacks. 
Nine on the die, plus 12 is a miss. Because of that beautiful lay on hands. Oh yeah, bonus. the good old plus two AC bonus. I forgot about that from lay on hands. Yep, lay on hands is great. <laughs> oh, well, nat 20 is not gonna do anything. I'm not though. gonna stop that though. And I roll a one. Okay. I have one on my critical roll. Wow. So a whole 14 on that crit roll. Hey, dude, look. Yeah. That's nice. And 10 on the die, plus 11. Yeah, that's a, that's a big old whopping crit miss. Crit miss. Well, Zab, it's your go. All right. Well, first, I will target the one that just released this barrage on me with my sword. I'm going to cast Slay Bag Monster. <laughs> uh, 25 to hit. That's a hit. Oh, that's a big one. I think that was 11 on the die this time. Uh, that will, oh, big damage. Uh, 20 slashing. Ooh, I yep. imagine it bursts into a swarm of rats. Not yet. Really? Wow, oh. look at it go. <laughs> I hit oh. it again. I must have said the words wrong, so I cast the same spell. Oh, natural 20. <laughs> That's a real damn shame. I, I, found, I found the magic words this time. <laughs> I fucked up casting spell, let me try again. Oh, 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 oh. 34 wow. slashing damage. And it's it's dead. Just straight yeah, up dead? Yeah, Just I, straight I, up dead. I don't dead. think it becomes rats. I don't think it had that chance. It, it did not. Cool. <laughs> I'm feeling really good about what I've just done. I'll take one last bold strike. Lesser hurt bag monster uh, on the, the remaining mo mogab. And a big old plus four bonus. What do we got? Oh, a seven? Yeah, that's not going to do it. But it's not a crit miss. Go. No, we're good. All right, so. Yep. I will. Ah. Target the swarm. Move up. You guys are doing Your great. Favorite creatures. I love swarms. They're great. Mm -hmm. Well, six on the die plus 14's a hit. Yeah. Oh, it did uh, the sneak damage that I know doesn't really happen. Yeah because it's immune to precision. Mm -hmm. doesn't matter. It's just going to be... It's not going to take that precision damage. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. It, doesn't, it won't really matter, so... so it took just a little yeah. bit. It, it, it ignored that precision. So you can roll it. It's just not... It's just going to... Oh, it will it. do it automatically. Okay. Cool. And then I will move back out to let Mr. Skull Smasher get in. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well... The Mogab's going to take a step, and this one's going to breathe, not caring about its potential rat buddies. Oh. Yeah, it's going to get all, all of you. Rat Swarm's going to oh. make the... Oh, do... Oh, not us. Okay, hey, the Rat Swarm succeeded. Cringe. Maybe it shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it shouldn't, just saying. <laughs> it's only two damage to each of you. All right, we'll take it. Nobody said these guys are smart. <laughs> well, why did Zaba take an extra damage? Oh, yeah. Let's undo that. I, had, <laughs> I saw I, that. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> I had... I hit the wrong button, sorry. All right, Timmy. You're All up. right, cool. So, yeah, Timothy... Or rather, I haven't given him a name just yet, but we'll find out here soon enough. The person embodying Timothy the uh, ultimate runs warrior. over to yeah the the ancient warrior. He runs up, and <laughs> the idea of hitting a rat with the fist is really funny. But I'm gonna use my uh, shale star knife to hit this rat. So one action to move, second action to attack the rats before me. I attack rats. Well, that's another I crit. I critically attack some rats. 14 damage. <laughs> this ancient warrior guy is way better with that knife than Timothy. Yeah, I know. It <laughs> fucking oh, yeah. blows, dude. 
Uh, the ancient warrior took, takes out another swarm of rats. Yes! <laughs> and now, last one. Uh, I see one 15 feet in front of me now. Swing in time. We're throwing the shell star knife. <laughs> Your honor, that's a nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. Okay, I, yes. and this time I'm, I am going to need to look up the critical specialization on the star knife. <laughs> I'm, liking, I'm liking this apparition a lot. Hey, can I, I like it? <laughs> okay, the critical specialization for a star knife is the target takes 1d6 persistent bleed damage. You gain an item bonus to this bleed damage equal to the weapon's item bonus to attack rolls. Oh, so fuck. So you get plus one, so it'll be 1d6 plus one. So 1d6 plus 1. Okay, Bleed damage. So, then... so I'll take that after you deal your damage. All right. So here is here is the damage. Fortunately, that's 9 damage. That blows. Well, it'll still take that 9 damage. But the big deal is that 1d6 plus 1 bleed damage. Yeah. Good so then, lord. So then do I roll that? Or... No, I, 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 okay. I, I'll put that on. That's a big bleed. Because it'll happen at the end of his turn, mm -hmm. every single turn. Excellent. I think Zaba and Vesuviak, the two of you, look over to Timothy as he's running over, and he has like a manic smile on his face. Like he looks yeah. very happy that he's. I'm imagining in my his head hand. his hair has somehow been tied into a very neat like warrior's top knot somehow. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Spiritual yeah, this hair thing, band. This thing doesn't have immunity to bleed so come on comrades let's some let's knock some heads comrades <laughs> comrades all right Vesuviak you're up I don't like that Timothy is right behind me doing things that I've never seen him do before <laughs> <laughs> talking about? and and, ta and talking commie yeah yeah this just this is just a recipe for a bad day. I want this I want this day to be over fast. We're gonna shoot another scorching ray at the sack monster. Fire ray, right? It's fire ray, yes, fire ray. I think you do get scorching ray eventually. I think so. Oh, that oh. was almost a nat twenty. I was fourteen on the die for twenty five. That's still a hit. Alright. Take my damage. <laughs> Eighteen. <laughs> It takes, that, it takes that damage. Oh, hold on. Ignore that. Hit the okay. wrong button. All right. And then for my last trick, raise a shield. That has gotten me out of situations before, and it will continue <coughs> to get me out of situations until level a billion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then Zaba. So hold on. This thing moved. Well, you know, it when it works, it works. It, hold on one second. Took nine damage from Timothy, and then eighteen damage from the fire. Okay. All right, go ahead, Zaba. You're up. All right. Well, you know when it works, it works. So I, uh, I just kind of, you know, I start swinging. Excellent choice. Oh, there's a crit. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, we'll start off with a uh, eighteen for a thirty-two. I believe that's a critical hit. Yes, it is. Alright, let's see what it does. What them dice do. What them dice do, though. Uh, 24 points of slashing damage, if it's... And it doesn't even get it's... a chance to slough its skin and become a rat swarm because it is dead. And, you know what? Let's go a little long, because you all have another creature down at the end of the funnel. Yeah, and then I'll use my remaining two actions. Actually, instead of doing that, I'm going to do the proper barbarian thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to jump. I'm going to make a long jump. <sighs> Eight foot vertical leap. <laughs> All right. So I believe with that, check result rounded down to the nearest five. So that's I can leap 30 feet. But maxed out at 25, that being my land speed, which works out perfect as a single action to just propel myself down to the bottom of the danger stairs. Oh, good call. Yeah. And by doing so, I still have 
one remaining action to move another 25 feet into the end of the funnel. That was 20. Let's get that extra five. And I'm ready to see something. Yep. And from your vantage point, you can't see anything, so you're going to have to seek on your turn. That'll have to happen next turn. So you are up. Yep. Uh, first action to move to the top of the funnel. And then slowly moving down. Um, no, the clip's not in there. Okay. Moving and moving some more. Halfway there. Yeah, I need, I, I need to figure out how to program difficult terrain. Oh, that's fine. It's easy enough to calculate. All right, Let's Timothy, see. you're up. Oh, boy. So Timothy's going to move. I mean, it's going to be just basically be movement. So that should be one action. Cause that, like right here. That where right I'm here at is right fine. Now. Okay. And then everything else is difficult terrain. Gotcha. So then difficult terrain is just basically half my movement speed. So, so yeah. uh, every square is 10 feet. Oh, okay. Got it. So sorry. I didn't mean to move that one. So it was 10 feet. Mouse is acting up. This is fun. Great. So and you have there. Speed of twenty right now. Yeah. And then I think I'll actually move to be right here, and that will be my third. That was my third action, basically just to move. Vesuviak. Yeah, I'm just trying to get down the funnel as far as I can. So that's right where I'm standing. If I step five foot forward, would I be in the difficult terrain? No, not yet. So okay, you, you can step five foot. And that's fine. So that's the first part of my move action. And then I think I only get 10 feet after that with difficult. Yep. Then another 10 feet. Then a final 10 feet. That's as far as I can get. Yep. Just trying right, not to slide down this funnel. <laughs> now you got to do what's called a seek action. How seek works... You can select a 30-foot cone or a 15-foot burst within line of sight. It's one action, and you make a secret perception check, and you compare that against the stealth DC of any undetected or hidden creatures. Cool. All right, well, you know, I think it's probably over in this part of the chamber, so whichever would better situate that just end, whether it's the cone or the burst, I'm not too particular. Yeah. And there's the roll. There. Yeah, you can't find anything. Hmm. Uh, nothing with the first action. I will use my second action to move over into that area. And, uh... I'll make another seek, just a 15-foot burst right around myself to see if I've gotten closer to it somehow. I'm good at this. One I'm second. an expert. All right. One second here. Just give me a second. All right. And right when, before you make that perception check, as you step on that square that you are on. Oh, yeah. Traps. Let's go. Oh, no. Great. This thing is going to make a reaction it's called Gobble. The creature touches it while it is prone using Go Limp. It makes a mouth strike against the creature. <laughs> so it's going to target you. This thing was playing dead. Yes, it was. And Yikes. It, it hits you. It does. Dealing. Not wearing ankle armor. <laughs> 11 damage. Ah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Not that you gave me much choice. Yep. And that is... That was its turn. So now you can... Now you... So you moved. You seeked. You got one more action now. Yeah. No, I said uh, before yeah. you seeked. So you just moved. You got two actions. Oh, okay. No, because I seeked before I moved. Okay. So I seeked, moved onto it, yeah. and so I have one action. Yep. Cause, and then I was going to seek again, but instead I stepped on it. So I'll just strike it. Hey, don't bite my ankles. 
<laughs> Gross. That's Don't a hit. That. Nice. Look at you go. All right, there will be 17 slashing damage and one point of... Oh, I don't have that number memorized. Isn't that force? One point of negative That's damage. Okay. Oh, hold on. I'll do that. So 17 plus one. Oof, okay. Big hit. Sil, so you are up. Okay. We'll take two more move actions just to get to the bottom of this stupid funnel. And I can just barely see it around the corner, it looks like. So I will throw a card at it. From Zaba's perspective, Zil just just bent that card like the bullets <laughs> from Wanted. Yes! <laughs> Hit. I full damage. Whoa. It's not as effective as a bullet. Dude, better than it nothing. <laughs> Alright. Oops. Oop. Alright, it's gonna go. No. <laughs> Don't do that. Alright, I can see it now. Idiot. <laughs> and it's gonna target Sill. Well, actually, it's gonna go right here. Well, no, it has to go right there. It's gonna target Sill for and use a mouth attack. Five on the die is a miss. And uh, there we go. Did it just run away? Right. Timothy, you're up. So I saw that thing come into view and then run away after trying to hit Sylph. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna move down 15, 20 feet. I don't see it. I gotta actually move one more. So that's two actions to get there. Yeah. And I don't see anything else. I'm probably going to see about five. So that's one action to get down here. And then I still have ten more feet of movement now that I'm at the bottom, right? Yep. Okay. I'm getting into the room so I can actually help out. That's the end of my turn. Vesuviak. All right. I am going to move ten feet to get to the end of the funnel. Or is that ten or fifteen feet? That'd be fifteen for two diagonals. Hmm. All right, so then in that case, we're going to be moving 20 feet to get to the end of the funnel. Um, that was as far as that movement went. Okay. I'm a little far from this thing, so I can't attack it. So I'm just going to go ahead and raise the shield in case it wants to take a chomp out of me. All right. Vesuviak, you're, or Zaba, you're up. Hmm. <clears throat> You know, you one of these days, we're going to have to have a conversation as a squad about movement and positioning. To be fair, I thought this chamber was much bigger than, as advertised, apologies about that. To be Sorry. fair, difficult terrain. Yeah, that's too. <laughs> I played the fifth. I will take my first action to move kind of into the southern part of the chamber, partially into a small pool of water and uh, continue my onslaught. Unfortunately, unable to gain the flank for Sill. Damn. Yeah, Sill can't see this thing from where they yeah. are at. I don't know what the yeah. problem is yet. That's a one on the die. Unfortunate. Uh, it's our last episode before new hero points, right? I believe so. So you okay. move, you swung. You got one more action, Zaba. Yeah, I was just considering uh, doing something different, but I think I'm going to leave it alone, and I'm just going to take a swing. Zaba going to do what Zaba does. And a mm -hmm. 9 on the die plus 9 is an 18. That's going to be a miss. <sighs> Seems about right. All right, Syl, you're up. Yeah, everything's happening around the corner, so I don't know what it's going to look like. Okay, so 10 feet to move into the room. Leaves me another 15. Yeah, can't get flank, but I will move right in front of Vesuviak, so that if Timothy wants to move around, he can. So I'm sure this thing won't run away again. 
<laughs> yeah, we have blocked it out. <laughs> uh, okay. Striking. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I'm gonna one use my die. hero point. I think I have one. Because I had a That's bonus one. That's smart. Yeah. 11 on the die is going to be a hit. hit. 11 plus 14, AC 25. Nice! Snake eyes. Yeah. 6 damage. 6 damage. And then I will swing again. Oh my god, still sticking with us to fight? Let's go! It's not strategically advantageous to run away this 25. time. 25. Yeah. <laughs> 15 on the die plus 10, that's a hit. 10 damage. Ooh, big hit. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Okay. Ugh, barely alive. Okay, let's see here. First action, gonna target self. And mouth attack. Yeah. Gonna try to bite ya. 13 on the die, plus 15, that's a 28, that's a hit. Four. 13 damage. Second action. Gonna grab ya. Shit. Third action. Going to nobble ya. And you are now swallowed. Ew. Bro, Sil's been bored. It's a soft on that day. No! Okay. The monster attempts an athletic check opposed to the creature's grab creature's reflex DC. 23. Okay. Let's check this. So. That's a success. Yeah. So Rolls. you are now swallowed. But. Well, in its mouth, you take 2d6 plus 6 bludgeoning damage as you get swallowed. Creature swallowed, do not begin to suffocate. So you're fine. Do you're just not. swallowed. You're oh. inside this, this creature. I'm just going to pile, pile, you, pile you up right there. And that is its turn. Timothy. Yeah. Bono seeing this is very much not happy. And is going to he's gonna swing his uh, star knife at this thing because I, I want to get still out I hope you're very precise with your star knife yeah here's the, here's my doctor precision well that'll do yeah 15 plus 10 that's a regular hit all that damage here gang whole six damage all right how's it looking is it still alive? Not, yes, yes it is. Okay, I'm gonna go again for another swing. <sighs> That'll be a miss. 14 plus 6 is AC 20. I'm gonna, I have two hero points. I'm gonna use one of my hero points to see if maybe I can make this thing hit. Let me see. We're really using a hero point. Hero points are coming out tonight. Hey, hey that's a hit. That's a 22 now. Going from All 14 right. to a 16, that's a hit. Yep. <laughs> Four damage. Just enough to kill this thing. As Excellent. hey, this thing goes down, and we're at an hour and a half, so we are going to say that this party for this episode is going to end. But overall, our party's not going to end. We hope your party also doesn't end. Who wants to do? Who wants to take us out tonight? I did it last week. I All right, do Jackson, it. take us out. Yeah, so uh, thank you everybody so much again for watching. Uh, if you liked what you heard today, if you want to spread the word of 25 North a little bit more, uh, word of mouth is the absolute best way to get news about a podcast spread around. Share us with your friends, share us with your family, and uh, if you have anybody that has any passing interest in tabletop role-playing game, why not let them uh, be introduced to us and see what kind of antics that we get up to. Uh, but we do want to thank everybody so much for coming by and watching. We hope to see you all next week. And by watching, we mean listening. Yeah, that's, the that's audio medium. We're an audio <laughs> medium. This, this, the streamer mentality in me took over. <laughs> streamer Sorry, it happens. You're good. You're good, man. 
All right. Hope your party never ends. See ya. Take Bye. it easy, everybody. The Jewel of the Indigo Isles Adventure Path is copyright 2023. All logos, titles, and artwork are property of Skyscraper Studios and Roll for Combat and used with permission. Pathfinder is a trademark of Paizo Incorporated. The theme music is written and performed by Robbie Whiplash.